Schmitz. See my car. She's clearly been disrespectful from the jump. Now look how far I got. Just pay attention to um the video. And good looking out to a subscriber for sending me this video. This is definitely needed. Once again, another educational teachable moment for you fellas, especially you young fellas out here that think that the attachment of a woman is all what it hyped up to be. No, 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 no. If it's not in a beneficial form that can benefit, you, that, you know, that it benefits you, her within the relationship, for you guys to exceed and grow, then her attachment means nothing. She seems like to me she's just trying to control, but we're going to get straight to it. It's Casey the Red Pill Alpha. I'm going to make this intro short. I got my turkey, uh, ground turkey meatloaf going on in the oven, you know, spicing it up. My little, my little, you know, my little, put my foot in it. I'm just going to put it like that. And I'm going to get back to that. But uh, <clears throat> y'all already know what it is. You know how to get at me. My Everything's in the description, include my Patreon link. My Patreon link is finally there. I finally learned how to do this shit. I'm learning. I'm coming along. And I'm, I'm progressing like a month. But my Patreon link is on my main page in my um, About section. Um, go join the Patreon. Go hit that $5 tier. I just uploaded what today and yesterday. So I got work over there. I'm steady going over there. Go get on that shit that you cannot get on YouTube, man. Real talk. Um, a video for education purposes only. Fair use only. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, please like, share, and subscribe. That'll definitely help out. And let's keep going, man. And support the video, fellas. Please support these videos. I'm about to go live. I'm about to do my live thing. I just got to figure out how to do the cameras and all that type of shit. But uh, please support the channel just as well. Now, young fellas, this is something that um, you fellas need to uh, inherit. This is something you need to... Um, grasped on to is um dealing with the control driven bitch but at the same time it's like did I meet her like this and allow this into my life was she like this or did I create this kind of individual doesn't matter how it go I mean how it formats I know what it is. It's all on you. And the reason why it's all on you is because to say if you met her and she was this kind of person, you seen these red flags, man. You just simply ignored it. You the pussy must have been fired. Must have been that heat. She must have had that cat, man, that um that motherfucking cat, man, make your toes curl and your the nails on your toes shoot to heaven. Pop out, shoot to heaven, you know, blister your shit up. She must got that kind of cat right there that that um that motherfucking special, you dig? But, uh, or you just are not used to women. So you feel like when one comes to your life, she show you some kind of gratitude of care, love, love that you think that's love. Um, she likes you. She's infatuated by you. So you feel like, I can't just let this go like this, man. She done this. She done that for me. Even though she's crazy as a motherfucker, I think I can change her. Come on, man. Fellas got to understand that your dignity and your pride is what counts. You standing on shit is what always counts, you know? And just say if um she became that person while y'all was, you know, getting together, dating her, linking up and doing y'all thing, and she instantly became that kind of person to where she wants to um seek control over you, that falls on you. And the reason why that falls on you, because you allow that to go that far. You allow it to go this far. You know, look at the video, you know. 
She's been disrespectful from the jump. He allowed her to go this far. Look how far it went. Look how far it is. She's driving through this front line, causing mayhem and disrespect in his neighborhood, in his community. You see how his video cam, video, video and the shit, and um, his people's in the back on the porches. Oh, well, and you know, they're just talking like, oh, this is nothing new. This is what she do. Ooh, hit the like button. So that should let you know that he's been dealing with this kind of bitch and behavior. Like a lot of you fellas, y'all deal with this shit, but y'all scared to let it go. I don't know why. Why? You don't have to deal with it. If she saw you this kind of motherfucking attitude, this kind of behavior, this kind of um mannerism, then you don't need that. Man, there's too many motherfuckers, millions of, I, I, I would think it's tens to hundreds of millions out there of women going forward for you to be degrading yourself, stressing yourself, wearing yourself, wondering if my relationship going to last, wondering if I'm doing things to tick her off, wondering if I'm uh, uh, um, if I'm going to be suitable for this relationship, basically walking on fucking eggshells like a bitch. So it falls back on you. She ain't came up. He ain't met her and she started, whoop did he do? I'm fucking trouble. Let me tear up your yard and let me fuck off your life. No, this is a consistent buildup that's been going on. It's been going on. He know these things. He's just afraid to get rid of it because he, he fucks with her. He's He's... You know, and then on the flip side of that, a lot of you guys think this kind of shit is cute. Oh, hit the like button. A lot of you guys think this shit is um sexy. You think it's um, a turn on or whatever, man, because she's degrading certain things around you and she's disrespecting you. And you feel like, okay, I got her where I want her. You know, we, when we go back home, we're going to have some makeup sex, some rough makeup sex. She's going to be sucking this mouth. I'm going to bust her up, man. We'll be cool after that. I, you know, I ain't, ain't no thing. I, I either fix cars or I, I, I go to um, the, the car um, part place and pick up some parts or whatever, you know, the junkyard or whatever you're going to go. And, you know, I, I, I'll get that together for her, man. You know, I, I should have never made her mad. You know, I should have never bought out her character. To where she got to be like this and upset at me, man. You know, I I caused this shit, man. What the fuck? So you're going to be rewarded for her bad behavior, right? Of course you guys do this. Y'all know y'all do this. I was on a date yesterday. Real talk. And, uh, and uh, you know, we was having a little drink. Me and a chick. And a uh, cool little piece. Oh, yeah. Nice. But uh, having a little drink and shit. And, uh. And I had to let her know. I said, you know what? You got guys out here that actually reward women for the shit that the women do that fucks up the relationship. She looked at me like, like damn, how we, I can't believe I thought. She said, how, how will they reward? You know how the fuck they reward y'all. You know how these simps be doing this shit. Just keep it all the way 100. Just keep it funky. You know what it is, baby. She always, yeah, 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 yeah. You kick off bullshit, you start something, you go out and do something, ain't no telling what you do. He got all rights to check, you put you in place, you know, feel some certain way because you disrespect the protocol, the relationship, and his fucking orders. You turn around, play the victim role, and then look, you got a bag, you got a car no pay for, you doing this. And she looked at me like, with the most jovial and like, shit. She had like a spark look like, This kind of guy, no. You gonna follow suit, or you follow the bread comes up out this motherfucking dough. Deuces. That's how it go. But that's what you got guys do. They fuck up. They disrespect. They show their ass. They treat you like shit when you should be dumping their ass off in the motherfucking streets in the back alley or the block. Get bitch, get the fuck on up out of here. But turn you yet and still you turn around and reward her. You should be breaking her. Bitch, I'm done with you. Break the fuck up with her. That's what you should be doing, breaking up with her. Real talk. But she had still you be water. Because she may come crying, playing that victim role, suck you off a little bitty. Oh, baby. I'm just... Man, you just tore my motherfucking yard. You just disrespect. You just fucking spit it on my motherfucking image as a man. Bitch, bye. That's your attitude, fellas. That's the attitude you should have. 
Feel me going forward. Do not go out like this fucking sucker. Recording this shit thinking it's cute. Thinking that, oh shit, I got her really attached. Oh, motherfucker, you got a bitch that's controlling you. Doing what the fuck she want to do, disrespecting you. And you ain't going to do nothing about it. Why? Because you let it go on too long. You seen it from the jump. You're just too scared to let it go. Weak motherfucker, don't be liking. Like these videos, share, and subscribe. Youngsters, do not be like this. Holla. Yeah.